Hi, I'm Phil and welcome to Holy Habitus and today is the last vlog of the year. Hope you've had a good 2014. And I'd like to the opportunity to finish the Beatitudes uh, because we come to the last one where Jesus says, Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And uh, that, that phrase, theirs is the kingdom of heaven, is the phrase used at the end of the first Beatitude. And so there's a sense of the completion of a cycle. Uh, it's the last of the... Uh, the blessings for the God breathers, as I've said, uh, and it kind of fits, you know, those who are persecuted because of righteousness, because they're seeking to engage in a righteous way to bring God's kingdom, they start to experience kickback and, and to carry the cost of their witness, which leads them into poverty of spirit, which needs them to <gasps> need to breathe in God again. And so you breathe in and breathe out, breathe in and breathe out. These are the blessings, the cycle of blessings that the Jesus follower should know. Um, Jesus supplements this little beatitude by saying, Blessed are you when people insult you, persecute you, and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad, because great is your reward in heaven, for in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Well, it's a strange beatitude, maybe a disturbing one, because it says persecution is good. Um, Jesus is saying it's good to be persecuted because if, if you're doing the right thing, if you're witnessing to the truth, if you're seeking to shine a light in the dark, in the darkness then you will get kicked back you will get persecuted and so actually it's a sign that you're getting something right that's what they did to the prophets that's what they did to Jesus himself because he was crucified because he spoke the truth and he sought to shine a light in the darkness and when we do that we can expect kickback now sometimes we think oh persecution is a bad thing we often pray thank you Lord that we we don't experience persecution in this country that we can meet openly and we don't have to be in danger of anyone kicking the door down or threatening us or imprisoning us. And yet, maybe there's something about that that should disquiet us. We should say, well, why aren't we getting persecuted? Is it because we've watered the gospel down and we haven't understood it properly or we haven't communicated it clearly or we haven't been prophetic enough? Because if we're truly shining a light, then the darkness will push back. And this uh, beatitude says... Uh, teaches us that we should train ourselves to rejoice and be glad when persecution comes. In Luke's gospel, his version of this, he says, leap for joy, you know, yeah, train yourself to rejoice. Like the apostles did in the book of Acts when they were persecuted, it said they uh, rejoiced because they were considered worthy for, the, for suffering for the sake of the name. And we should be the same, shouldn't we? So perhaps this week we should just sit in silence um, as we are leftover turkey and just think, Am I hiding my light under a bushel? Am I communicating the gospel clearly enough?